Hey everyone, and welcome to the tutorial series for the Procedural City Generator. In this short video, we'll be taking a look at how to add apex destruction to your buildings. It's going to be fairly simple. We're going to look at how to create a destructible mesh, how to add that to a blueprint to your building, and finally, how to configure and destroy your building with damage. So if I go ahead and jump into Unreal, I've already gone ahead and generated a little city here. And before I show anything else, let's just go ahead and click play from here and we'll see how kind of what the end result will be for our uh, buildings. So I go ahead and um, jump into play mode. And for this building here, I'm going to start shooting my little, um, there you go, a projectile. And I can quickly destroy the building. And you can see here that we have a bunch of pieces that are flying all over the place and all of the props inside are now simulating physics. Uh, even some of the props that did not simulate physics before are now all simulating physics. And that's because if you have a big building, you want all of the props, if they're on the second floor, third floor, whatever, uh, to fall down, right? Um, so I've already taken care of all of that with a, a little um, blueprint component. So um, how do we do this? It's actually very, very simple. Uh, if we go under procedural city meshes, buildings, and rural in this case, if I go to Alden, you already see that I've already have it set up for Alden. This is this house here. I have the regular static mesh, then I have the actual destructible mesh, and then the, the, the blueprint class that will represent that mesh in the world. And I've done the same for Boogaloo 2, which is this one, but I haven't done it for Boogaloo 1, which is this one. So let's go ahead and do that first. So we want to create a, a, we want to make sure that this building is destructible with Apex. So we navigate to the static mesh and you can click on this little icon here. It'll take you to the actual static mesh in your project and you're going to right click, create destructible mesh. Now you need to have Apex destruction enabled and I believe that should be enabled by default on any recent version of Unreal up to 425. 426 is going to add chaos, even though I just recently saw that it's not going to be enabled by default. So you may still be able to do this even in 426 and beyond. So, um, all right. So we open the mesh and now we have the, um, the Apex editor here. And all we need to do is select the cell site count. These are gonna be how many chunks and we can do something like, I don't know, 80 chunks. And from there on, we're going to enable impact damage and simply click fracture mesh. And that's it. And if you have a really big mesh, it's going to take a while depending on your PC. So, so, um, you know, I specifically picked a simple mesh. So this process will go quicker, but depending on, on how many chunks and how complicated the mesh is, this is going to look uh, different. So that's pretty much it. You can see that if we uh, expand that explode amount, you can see how the uh, the pieces are. You can always enter a random seed here and do it again, fracture it again, and then you'll have different cuts based on your random seed. All right, let's say that we're happy with this. We're going to click save. And now you see that we have the actual destructible mesh what we're going to do now is we're going to grab this destructible mesh and drag it into our scene and put it right there on the scene. It should look exactly the same. And with that selected, we're going to blueprints right here, convert selected components to blueprint class. And this will automatically create the blueprint that we want for our uh, component. So I'm going to navigate to the exact same folder. So it's going to be meshes, buildings, Rural Boogaloo one. And then just for consistency, I'm going to name this BP and create. And you can see that when we open this, it's a simple blueprint with the destructible component as the root right here. Okay. Go ahead and save and close. And now we have all of the components that we need and we are ready to create the destructible building. So click on the actual blueprint for the building. You can see that this is a blueprint click on edit 
and you're going to see that this opens up like this. We're going to open the full blueprint editor. And once we do that, if we go to the viewport, you can see that you're going to have the actual uh, building or house. You have the arrow, you have all of the different components here. We're going to click on add component and start typing destroy. And you can see that we have two components, comp destructible and comp destructible HISM. Pick the top one. This is not a hierarchical instance static mesh. This is a simple single building. So comp destructible. And now all you need to do here is add the DM or destructible mesh class into this lineup here. So we can go back and select the actual blueprint that we created with the building. Go back here and click on the little arrow here. And you can see that now the DM class has been populated right here. We can click compile and save. And if we did that correctly, we click on play. We should be able to now destroy this building by doing damage to it. You can see, there you go. It is that simple, guys, to make any building in your city destructible. I already have the component and you just follow that process. And of course, if you come here and you select the actual building, go under components for destructible component, then you can tweak the settings right here. So total health is obviously the quote unquote HP of the house. Uh, so this is the, the total amount of health that needs to be brought to zero before the house explodes. You have impulse strength. This is going to control how, how far or how much impulse is, is applied to all the chunks that they go flying around. Obviously, if you want to play a destruction sound, you can add it here. And then you, you have the option to have collision on debris. Yes or no. Whether And whether you want to actually destroy that debris. And if so, what is that destruction delay? By default, I would highly recommend that you definitely destroy the debris. Uh, you can leave it there for longer if you want, a couple of minutes, and then destroy it, and that's for performance reasons. Uh, if you want to disable collision for debris, the only issue is going to be that they're going to fall through the floor. So typically, uh, what I would recommend is just change the total health. So a building like this, maybe you're, you want to last a little bit longer, so you change the HP um, to a little bit more. So now you have to do more damage uh, for you to be able to destroy it. And of course, my projectile, I believe, is doing two damage. I have to go back and check. But you can see that now it takes a little bit more to get destroyed. And we have collision on the debris. And there you go. So that really is it, uh, guys. Just follow that process. Uh, configure your, your settings here under setup. F uh, feel free to disable it too as well for gameplay purposes. You can actually disable the destruction component and only enable it under certain conditions. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. That is how you would add destruction to your buildings. Repeat this process to all of the buildings in your city, and very quickly you have a fully destructible city to play around with. That is pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Join our Discord, and uh, you can message me there or DM me. Or if you're more comfortable, you can always email me with your questions. All right, everybody, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you in the next video.